thing's tiny. Hey, welcome to Mesa RC. I'm Mr. Marshall, and I've got Cody here. And Cody, what did you bring to the table, dude? Today, um, today we're bringing to the table a uh, Baby Blender FT. Um, so I built this, and I just used the tutorial, and we cut it out with the printer. Nice. So this is our actually our first Baby Blender that we've ever done in the five years that uh, we've been doing this. Now, the reason why is because uh, it's a squirrely plane. And uh, for you to take this as your first challenge, I think build-wise, it's great because you got all the skill that you can now take to future designs for you. Right. Uh, Coda's only a seventh grader, so um, for him to tackle something like this and for it to come out this pretty, um, it's that's awesome. Um, the Baby Blender is actually um, one of um, Flytest's first planes, and it's actually um, near and dear to us because uh, Flytest, uh, Chad, Capper, and Josh Bixler both did a contest in like blazing winds um, and Josh had to win uh, in a competition to give us a bunch of shirts and stickers and Josh won so we got a bunch of stickers and you weren't even here you were probably like in fourth grade so it was uh, it was big so the baby blender has definitely got some history with um, flight test but as well as with, with us um, how'd the build go I mean this is what you got to talk about right now we're gonna go and fly this thing soon but how'd the build go it went pretty good. The toughest part was just getting this. It took a, it was very time consuming. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty though. It's amazing. Um, servos, all that. Did you learn a whole ton getting the servos in? And yeah. How to get all that set up? Yeah. I learned a lot about the electronics. Very good. And he, when he had his um, set up all ready to rock and roll and I came over to check, he had it all perfect. So he did a really good job. Um, and then now to figure out his uh, CG today, this morning and then um, to go fly it out there uh, today in the snow. We were going to wait for the snow to go away, but then it's like we could be waiting another month. Right. Um, and he wants to get on his next build, so he wants to just, we're just going to take it out there and see what happens. So we might try to uh, snow dive it and then run after and get it, or I might try to, if it flies well, I might try to land on the concrete and just hope for the best. <laughs> So we'll see. No, you should be proud of yourself, man. This is an amazing, uh, this is an amazing build. This is the FT uh, Baby Blender, and let's go see if uh, you can tame it in the skies. Let's go do it. Cool. Yeah, more gas. More gas. 
Okay, so I'm gonna come back at it, okay? Right? So what do you think, man? That was a cool plane. <laughs> this is cool. We got it back in one piece. Oh man, I was so worried. I was looking at the forums, you know, because you were telling me to, to, to check out for the battery size and we got the right battery. And I was looking at all the forums and everyone's like, it's super squirrely. You got to be careful. Um, but we just followed, you know, Josh's plan and, and calming down the elevator, um, giving ourselves enough control of the, the ailerons. Um, and, uh, you know, we don't have any landing gear on this. And that's maybe something that you might want to invest in and try to build because this is still in really good shape. So we just gotta put a propeller on there. That's that's a piece of cake. I mean we all right, I don't know. So we're we're good to go. Um, but no, you you did a good bill and you give, put yourself in a position to have a successful flight and you know this is something that you this is like an intermediate. So beginners is you know, we got the the apprentice, you know, right. and the explorer and the trainer where it's like super slow and you're cranking it and it's barely doing anything, it's just getting that nice you crank this, and this guy just because the wingspan's so small. What's, where, where do you go from here, man? This is a, you're in the build to fly. Are you going to stay in build to fly and build something else? Or are you thinking of maybe venturing in and start doing your own design? I'm going into another design. I've already, I found, I've done a little bit of research already and I found something I want to do. And what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna try to make a, there's a new futuristic biplane and I'm gonna try to make it a twin motor biplane. Oh, twin motor, nice. So taking what you've learned from here in yeah. the biplane wing and, and adding it. Yeah. Um, I think some stuff that you want to learn from is it, the increased wingspan and then right. pulling back um, this elevator and this, these back control surfaces to, uh, to leave elongate the plane a little bit. Um, Josh, this is one of Josh's first planes and you did a good job, man, you did, did justice. Yeah. Very cool. Well guys, this is the um, FT Baby Blender, definitely for intermediates, and if you're a first time flyer, you definitely want to fly with someone, buddy box it, because um, it is really, calm down your aileron rates, calm down your elevator, give yourself a ton of rudder, um, and uh, you should be, should be good to go. Good job, man. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching.